plunging temperatures have gone, the 23s and 24s from the weekend, and instead of that, nearer 12 degrees. But as you can see here, the heat wave isn't all that far away. Paris, 25, and over in Hamburg in northern Germany, as high as 28 degrees. So there is hot weather close by, but we're looking for storms rather than hot weather returning as we go through the next 24 hours. And you can see these thunderstorms showing up just down to the south of the Channel Islands, really. And some of those storms are going to be coming up the eastern side of England tonight and possibly up into eastern Scotland during tomorrow. Some heavy bouts of rain connected to this area of low pressure here, which will move fairly steadily northwards up through the North Sea through tonight and through tomorrow with a further area of low pressure and showers moving into the west for the second half of Tuesday. So most places will catch some rain by this time tomorrow. Uh, rainfall today really has been on the eastern side of England by and large, and you can see down the channel yet more wet weather showing up quite uh, readily, I think, coming into the southwest on the southwest radar. You can see uh, that rainfall looks pretty heavy. And it's going to become very extensive through the next few hours and indeed push further north still across many parts of England and Wales as we go through this evening and overnight. So much of Scotland and Northern Ireland are not about into the day. Plenty of sunshine around, even the showers up in the far northwest easing back, and the breeze will ease down as well. But here comes the wet weather with the odd rumble of thunder coming up through many parts of England and Wales, up into south-east Scotland actually, by breakfast time tomorrow. Temperature's really no great problem, perhaps down to three degrees over in the uplands of Scotland for a time. So Tuesday starting off on a pretty grey note, it must be said, for many central and eastern parts. I think the heaviest rain will have gone from much of the southwest by the morning. Some showers still to come, though, with some sunshine developing. But I think we're going to find a pretty wet start on the eastern side of England up into south-east Scotland, and that wet weather pushing up into the rest of Scotland, or most of it anyway, during the afternoon. Now, at the same time, the sky's brightening in the south, but there will be some blustery showers returning across Ireland into Wales and south-west England for the afternoon. Temperature's really not too bad, but of course not the dizzy heights we saw at the weekend over England. We're at about 12 to 14 degrees. On Wednesday, a very showery day indeed. That rain still up in the far north of Scotland for a time. There could be a pulse of rain still left in the extreme southeast, but then it's sunshine and showers all the way, but rather fewer showers hopefully by Thursday. That's it from me for now.